These are 10 of the most endangered animals in the wild 2022 by Rhymery Sims and Audrey Ma. This year we chose the TPSP project Pursuit of Passion. In this project, we decided on a passion, which is to inform others about 10 of the most endangered animals and how we can prevent their extinction. The facts are from 2022dosomething.org. We will include various facts about these animals, like their population, habitat, and conservation status. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy. Change the world. The massive problem. In this wonderful world, we have plants, water, air, habitats, people, and we also have animals. We are in charge of the world because we are in the highest place, and it is our job to care of the world and of the animals in it. Animals have several characteristics that set them apart from other things. Unlike plants and algae, which produce their own nutrients, animals are heterotrophic, feeding on organic material and digesting it internally. They are also important to the food chain. We have the power to keep these animals safe. We can take care of them because it is our job to care and have passion and understanding for them. Bakita. The Bakita's conservation status is critically endangered. Their population is decreasing rapidly. There's only around 10 left. Their scientific name is Phosphorina sinus. Their height is 4.6 to 4.9 feet. They weigh 95 pounds, and their length is 3.9 to 4.9 feet. They're found in the Gulf of California within 16 miles from the shoreline, 30 to 90 feet deep. They are from the Porpoise family, and the order is the even-toed ungulates, Therapsid and Boreotheria. Their higher classification is a harbor porpoise. And they live about 21 years. Javan Rhino. The Javan Rhino's conservation status is critically endangered. Their population is also decreasing. The Javan Rhino's conservation status is critically endangered. Their population is also decreasing rapidly. There's around 60 left. And their scientific name is Rhinoceros sondacus. Their height is 4.6 to 5.8 feet. They weigh 2,000 to 5,000 pounds, and their length is 10 to 10.5 feet. They live in the tropical forest. Their family is the Rhinoceroidae, and their order is the Parasodactyla. Their higher classification is the one-horned rhinos. And they live about 30 to 40 years. Whooping crane. The whooping crane's conservation status is endangered. Their population is increasing, though. There's only about 290 left. Their scientific name is Gress Americana. They weigh 15 pounds, and their height is 1.5 meters. Their length is 4.3 to 5.2 feet. They are found from the Arctic to central Mexico, and from the mid-Atlantic coast in New England to Utah, Wyoming, and New Mexico. They're from the Grude family, and their order is the Grude forms. Their higher classification is Gruss. Hey, those all sound the same. And their lifespan is about 24 years. Siberian tiger. Their conservation status is endangered. There's less than 500 left. Wow. Their scientific name is Panthera tigris alteca. Their height is about three feet. They weigh 350 to 420 pounds, and their length is 13 feet. They live in amazingly diverse habitats, rainforests, grasslands, savannas, and even mangrove swamps. They're from the Felidae family, and their order is the carnivores, Ferungulata, Therapsid, and Boreotheria. Their higher classification is just the tiger. They live about 10 to 14 years in the wild and 14 to 16 in captivity. Tabuli orangutans. The Tabuli orangutan's conservation status is just endangered. There's about 800 left. Their scientific name is Pongo. 3.9 to 4.6 feet for height, and they weigh 110 to 220 pounds. Their length is about 2.7 feet. They are only found in the rainforests of Southeast Asian islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Their family is the great apes, and their order is primate Therapsidoboreotheria. Their higher classification is the Pongani, and they live about 35 to 45 years. Mountain gorilla. The mountain gorilla's conservation status is endangered. Their population is about 880 left. 
The scientific name is Gorilla Berenger Berenger. Their height is four to six feet tall. Adults may up weigh two to 485 pounds for male, and females may weigh up to 215 pounds, and they're about 1.5 meters for length. They live in the mountain forest. They're from the hominid family, and the order is the Haplorhini. The higher classification is the Eastern Gorilla, and they live about 40 years. Giant Panda. The giant panda's conservation status is vulnerable. Their population is increasing now. There's about 1,800 left. Their scientific name is Alleropoda melancholuca. And their height is 2 to 3 feet, adult at shoulder, and they weigh up to 150 to 280 pounds. Their length is 3.9 to 6.2 feet. They're found in the bamboo forest. And they're from the bear family. Their order is the carnivores, therapsid, furungulata, and boreotheria. Their higher classification is just the giant panda. And they live about 20 years. Snow leopard. The snow leopard's conservation status is vulnerable. Their population is 4,080 to 6,590 left. Hmm. Their scientific name is Panthera uncia. Their height is 7 feet. They weigh about 70 pounds, and their length is 2.5 to 4.9 feet. They live across a vast area in the northern and central Asia's high mountains, including the Himalayan region. They're from the Philidae family, and their order is the Carnivora. They're from the, they're also known as the Panthera. And they live about 10 to 12 years in the wild in captivity, about 22. Well, they're back sea turtle. Hmm. Their conservation status is vulnerable. Their population is decreasing though. There's less than 25,000 left. Wow, that's a lot. The scientific name is Dermocellus coriacea. Their height is 6.5 feet. They weigh up to 550 to 1,500 pounds, and their width is 6 to 7.2 feet. They're found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They're from the leatherback sea turtle family. Ooh, that sounds pretty basic. Their order is the Testudines. And their higher classification is the Dermal Chilies. And their lifespan is about 30, 45 to 50 years. Asian Elephants. The Asian Elephant's conservation status is in danger, but their population is decreasing. There's only 20,000 to 40,000 left. That's a big number. Their scientific name is Elephus Maximus. For males, they grow 9 feet tall. Adult at shoulder, and for females, they're 7.9 feet tall. Adult at shoulder. The males can weigh up to 8,800 pounds. Adult, and adult females can weigh up to 6,000 pounds. The length is 18 to 21 feet, and they inhabit dry to west forest and grassland habitats in 13 range countries spanning South and Southeast Asia. They're from the elephant family, and their order is the Proboscidea. Their higher classification is the Elephus. Ooh. And they live about 22 years. Why these animals' extinction rates are accelerating? Us humans are a large threat to these endangered animals because they are getting eliminated all around the world. Another cause of extinction is the loss and degradation of habitat, mainly deforestation. The current extinction is most likely the result of human activity, especially over the past century. Scientists estimate that 100 to 10,000 species, from microscopic organisms to large plants and animals, go extinct each year. This is 100 to 1,000 times faster than historic extinction rates. What will happen when these animals are gone? These animals are part of an important system, the food chain. If the prey dies, the predator and up will die, and the lower-level animals will overpopulate the world. 
All animals are in the food chain, so they will affect the world if any of them suddenly disappear. If some certain animals disappear, like pigs, cows, birds, or any other animals that you can consume, we might not have a lot of options to eat. Why should we save these endangered animals? The Endangered Species Act aims to conserve and protect endangered and threatened species and their habitats. This is the reason the two of us are researching these animals, and we hope to inform people about them and try to protect these amazing wildlife species. The Endangered Species Act is very important because it saves our native fish, plants, and other wildlife from going extinct. Once gone, they're gone forever, and there's no going back. Wow. When an endangered animal is gone, it will affect the food chain. It could be a big change or a small change, but the effect will be large on the whole world. How we can help? Even though we hear that these animals are going endangered, we can help them stay in this world. One way to help is by not ruining their habitat, by not cutting down trees. We could stop hunting animals because when we do it, it causes them to have a higher extinction rate. We can also inform more people in this world, letting them know about endangered animals. For sea animals, we can pick up trash from the beach and not polluting the sea, too. Why do we have passion for these endangered animals? Oh, these animals are so cute. We love and have passion for these animals, and it makes us sad when we see and hear that they're becoming endangered and soon become extinct. We want to research and help all the animals as much as we can by informing anyone who wants to know. This is the reason we have passion for these animals. With them gone, the food chain would become out of balance, which would change the world. Thank you for listening. We hope this has inspired you to protect these animals. Change the world. Out.